If you are wondering what this and this are all about, you have been living under a rock and you have no idea that today is March 25th, 2020, and the media is going nuts about this coronavirus stuff, COVID-19, you are too. Why? Because you're a dumbass. Let's talk about drywall. Think about it. Go ahead. This is the progress bar. This is gonna be telling you what I'm talking about and when, so it's easier for you to find. This is gonna save you a lot of time. This is drywall series part one. Fire rating. Go ahead, ask those questions. Is drywall fire rated? What is fire rating in drywall? In plain English, fire rating is just how long drywall withstands fire without crumbling. Not turning to dust, freaking dust. The intention is to contain the fire to a particular space in a determined amount of time. Drywall is fire rated if it has been tested and approved under the lab results, hence the ratings. Saying that any particular piece of drywall is fire rated only means that that style of drywall was put together under specific guidelines to fabricate that style of drywall. Nothing less, nothing more. Shit, I'm touching my face. Because the ratings are based on the time that the drywall withstands fire, yet maintaining its characteristics, saying that drywall is fire rated only means that it has been approved to be used under that particular time frame while withstanding burning flames. Hold fire. Also, it means that you can use multiple layers of drywall to achieve the fire rating for your project. So two hours, two five eighths would be enough. Now you asked. Dumas is asking. After I said all this, I still see here. Will drywall burn? Yes, it will. Can drywall burn? Dumas is asking it. Although drywall is made out of materials that are designed not to burn that fast, anything burns if exposed to high heat for long enough. You know, high temperatures just pulverizes everything. See, Mr. Dumas asked this question. See, Dumas, right here, Mr. Dumas. A room that's fire rated has to contain fire while it is burning for its intended time rating. So if the rating is for one hour, it has to withstand fire for at least one hour. That being said, any pathway within the fire rated room or any door or enclosures to outside of that room have to also be fire rated to the same magnitude of the drywall used inside that room. So drywall will not do the job alone. Any other item enclosing that room has to also be fire rated like a recessed light fixture needs to withstand two hours of fire. So it cannot be plastic, it needs to be metal. Also, the door most likely will not be made out of wood. We'll have a core that's metal or even an inspection panel that goes to inside the wall. To protect the wood inside the wall, the panel needs to be metal and rated to the same magnitude of the drywall used within that room. So making a fire rated room can become a very costly endeavor. There are many kinds of drywall brands and many other variations. Besides its capabilities to withstand fire, you'd be surprised of how many types of characteristics that you can get out of one simple material. There are different thicknesses, sizes, moisture protection applications, different weights for ease of installation, and added embedded layers of sound barriers. Don't you love drywall? I do. And if I say my way, I think it, it sounds better. Okay. I don't know. Uh, if you don't like it, let me know. Okay, you're sitting there, you tell me. Oh, you dumbass. Here I'm gonna be telling you a simple rule of how to achieve the ratings that your project is calling for with this rule of thumb. This is simple. 
The 5-8 drywall is what we call fire code or fire rated drywall, which is known as Type X and has a fire rating minimum of one hour. And the standard half an inch drywall has a 30 minute minimum rating. A combination of both, you can get an hour and a half. Or two layers of 5 8 will give you two hours rating. And you can add them in layers to achieve the fire rating that your plans are calling for. What we call drywall, sheetrock and plasterboards are designed for different uses and can be found under many different brands. See what your plans are calling for. Check to see if you have anything on your teeth. See if the architect specified any drywall with weird properties. Like soundproofing, metal infused drywall or the water resistant type. Then layer them to achieve the fire rating that you need. That's all you need. So if you see on your plans, two hour rated drywall, so that means two sheets of drywall, one on the top of the other. And everything else that goes with it, the doors need to be also two hours, the windows that go to another uh, open area also need to be two hours. Everything within that room needs to be a two hour. So a room that's rated two hours signifies that you need to, everything that you put to close that room needs to be two hour rated. Not only the walls and the drywall, the doors, the windows, the vents, all that. Our next video is drywall part two, where we are gonna be discussing tools, techniques of installation, and why we install the ceiling before anything else, and other things about drywall. If you are a professional of this area, and you believe that you know better about anything I said in this video today, just go ahead, leave a comment below, and I may just do an update of this video with a shout out to you. Thank you. If it was too confusing and you haven't understood anything about it, just also leave your comment below and I'm gonna be glad to explain everything to you again from the beginning in another video. It is probably a condition that you have and you keep hearing things twice. So probably that's why you didn't understand it. If it was too confusing and you couldn't understand anything, I help you on the next video. Just leave a message down at the comments and I try to make a better video for you. Just tell me exactly what you couldn't grasp. So I'm gonna ask you to subscribe, like and click on the notification button below so you can get the next videos. Thank you. And I hope our videos are helping you with your most asked questions about construction. Thank you. If I were you, can you cut? Can you can you cut? This dumbass is gaslighting the audience.